Well, one month ago today, we were just starting the long recovery process following the power failure fallout. Now tonight, the push continues to make things right for the Texans who endured it. KPRC2's Bill Barajas live in our newsroom now with the lieutenant governor's call to correct Aircut's pricing error. Bill? The lieutenant governor is not only asking Governor Greg Abbott to act, he said earlier today the governor was the last option to reverse billions of dollars worth of electricity overcharges. He can make this corrective action if he so chooses. It was a call to action at stake billions of dollars worth of power costs that Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick called a mistake. Quick recap, 57 people are dead. Multiple companies are filing bankruptcy. There are thousands of damaged homes, billions of dollars in accounts receivable. The state Senate moved quickly Monday to pass electricity repricing legislation, but the House did not take action. According to Patrick, they claimed they needed more time. The bill would have forced ERCOT to reverse about $4 billion in charges after an independent market monitor found the energy grid operator inflated prices and overfilled energy companies. The independent monitor came in and told ERCOT the price should be back to normal. Again, would have saved a gross number of about $16 billion. ERCOT has 30 days after an event to adjust pricing, which expires tomorrow. Patrick saying if the Public Utility Commission, which oversees ERCOT, does not act, the governor must step in. He has renewed the emergency order. And under an emergency declaration, the governor has extraordinary power. He is the commander in chief. It's unclear how average Texans will be impacted or how the governor will respond. We reached out but have not heard back as of news time. Live in the newsroom, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. Bill